Our friends became our enemies, and our enemies became stronger. Rip those kids apart. It's not a video game. Gemma, what's wrong? Oh, hi. It's nothing I'm fine, really. I sh should get back to work. Okay. Working together. I thought it would be good for us. Like old times, you know? Sometimes it catches up with me, too. Yes. Well, it's to be expected, isn't it? I'm not sure why I thought. It's just after what Ward did to him. You're allowed to be angry. You know that, right? I do. You know, these past few months are the longest Fitz and I have been apart since we met. Isn't that a silly thing to think about? That you miss him? No. But you should tell him that. You Brits keep way too much to yourselves. <laughs> Except for Hunter. Is he even British? It's like he just doesn't stop talking. He does talk a lot. And always about Bobby. He's clearly very much over her, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I'm getting there. been down here for a few decades. This isn't an archive. It's a tomb of information. And I bet Agent Carter had good reason to bury it. Get these all to the lab. Thank you. Trying though. I'm sorry about Trip. It's been rough for everyone, but I know you guys were really close. Yeah, we were. He just, she's so easy to be around, you know? With everything going on, everything moving so fast, sometimes. We take for granted the stuff that matters most. I know I did. And here we are. The lucky ones who get to talk about it. <clears throat> Quarantine survival kit. The whole room was shaking. It's, the gun in my hand exploded. Oh, God. I thought that I could handle it, but I can't. It's too much. I, I think we have to tell Colson what's happening. I won't. Wait. Just wait until I've or analyzed. I can't control it when I get upset or nervous. I know, I know, I know. All right, but are you not nervous about what will happen if 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 you reveal it to them? Have you heard Simmons and our deadly artillery program? Simmons is just upset about Trip. She's trying to stop bad things from happening. With a shoot first policy, I don't recognize her right now. Do you recognize any of us? 
Everything is backwards. I remember the Simmons I trust. Because I was talking to her recently. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing that I was seeing Simmons. I wasn't talking to myself, I was speaking to her. Okay. Like hallucinating her? Yeah. Whole conversations. She was very supportive. That look you're giving me right now, that's exactly the look that everyone's gonna give you if you tell them. Please, I'm just uh, I'm just asking, just let just let me figure out it's, exactly what's going on. I don't care about stink eye. I know, that would be the least of our problems. How many more problems could we have? I'm running that diagnostic on your blood samples right now. Hopefully when it's done, we'll have a solution. Then there's nothing even. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, whatever this is. Just wanted to check out the new toys from SciTech. Tell you what happened to her at the academy that day? Hydra released an enhance on them. This guy was eight feet tall. His skin was hard as steel. Ripped those kids apart. Found Weaver in the boiler room, fighting to protect the ones that were left behind. She was actually going toe to toe with that monster. Took 17 bullets in the head to put him down. I'm lucky to get out of there alive. That's not Sky. One day we will all be gone. But God willing, Shield will continue. We have withstood terrible storms in the past. Betrayal. Our friends became our enemies, and our enemies became stronger. But we cannot afford to be enemies to each other when there are new threats out there waiting for the moment we are at our weakest. A house built on shifting sand will fall. And without a strong and united foundation, shield will fall again. Exactly how did you manage to escape unscathed? What are you implying, Doctor? Well, most of Hydra's leaders were wiped out in one fell swoop. But not you. I was just curious if you might know anyone involved. Let's see how Bakshi holds up under questioning. He's held up to worse than this. Yeah? How's he do with poison? You know the Baroness died sipping a Blanc de Blanc like this? Only she had no idea it was laced with a chemical weapon that would turn her to stone which I developed in Dr. Whitehall's labs. You think I poisoned the Baroness? Killed Bloom? Someone put a bullet in his head. I assumed it was you. Or struck her. You had the most to gain, and uh, look, here you sit, alive and well, with more money and manpower than ever. Mm. This is delicious. Though I prefer the richness of a Clement. See? Told you it was good. They're taking off. Well, Strucker's overseas. I'd say that's probably where they're going. And we tell them. Oh, one problem. They seem to have a pilot. You can fly one of these, can't you, baby? Yes. I believe I can. Hey, honey, we're all set. Found a car, gassed it up. I would have been here sooner if my Chinese was better. Oh, no, 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 really? Contractions are less than three minutes apart. OK. Well, then, I'm a doctor. <laughs> um, we'll do this right here. Um, did I tell you about the moon? Oh, it's a big, full moon out there. You know, if you hadn't cleaned the house before telling me it was time, we might not be doing this the old-fashioned way. Cal. Yes? Cal. Promise me if anything ever happens to me, you will always protect her. Of course, my love. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Huh? Nothing, huh? You're in good hands. But right now, 
We need to get you to the bed so we can deliver this beautiful baby girl, right? Uh, so on three. Uh, one, two, three.